the Euro qualifiers is almost over. But, let's talk about a game that happened today. Poland versus Moldova. Alright, the first goal here scored by Alek Dushmilik in the 12th minute and then Robert Lewandowski himself in the 34th minute. So going into halftime, 2-0 up for Poland. And I think most people, including me, were like, yeah, Poland got this one in the bag. I mean, they're playing Moldova. There's no way that they're going to see concede three goals by Ion Nikolechku in the 48th and 79th and Vidlash Bahuidlo in the 85th minute for Moldova to win. There's no way, right? Right? Uh, Poland. For the stats, 20 shots to 9 in favor of the Poles, so it's not like they completely sucked. 5 shots on target to 4 for the Poles. 73% possession to 27 in favor of Poland. 617 passes, 232 in favor of Poland. 85% pass accuracy, 62% favor of Poland. 25 fouls to 10 with Moldova having 15 more fouls in Poland. 4 yellow cards for Moldova out of them, 0 4. Poland, no red cards, of course. One offside, though, for Moldova. Two corners to nine in favor of Poland. So what does this mean for the group? It means Czechia are first. They are chilling. There's no way that they're going to score uh, two goals and then at halftime lose 3-2 to Moldova, right? Albania at second, just one point ahead of Moldova, who's in third. Two points ahead of Poland. Uh, who are fourth, and then Faroe Islands are only two points behind Poland. Now, if Faroe Islands had beaten Albania today, which it looked like they were going to at a halftime, Albania would be at three points, but barely higher than Poland. And if Faroe Islands did win, of course, they'd be at four points, which would put them in third. This group would have been crazy. And Poland would have been last, which is just absolutely crazy to think for Poland. Just if one team had not lost, you would have been last in this crazy group. Peace, thanks for watching, and peace.